What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be going through the figures that are going to be releasing in 2019 that I am the most excited for. Of course we did see these figures throughout 2018 but there are a select few that I am just over the moon for and over the next few days we have a lot of exciting videos that I think you guys will really really enjoy and be excited about so definitely be on the lookout for those videos moving forward especially tomorrow's. It's going to be a really big video and one that's going to be really awesome so definitely be sure to check that out but uh we're gonna go through them here today guys tons and tons of great mattel figures coming in the next year 2019 is going to be a huge year not only for you know wwe figures but the channel and everything and i'm very excited for it guys so let's go ahead and dive straight into my list so the first figures on my list, guys, is the Ultimate Edition from Mattel. The first two Ultimate Edition figures that we are getting. No longer Elite, guys. Ultimate right here. Ronda Rousey and Ultimate Warrior. The first two figures in that set. These are highly, highly detailed. They are giving us double jointed knees and elbows. Uh, interchangeable heads. Interchangeable entrance coats. I mean, look at that freaking Warrior coat. Are you kidding me? I mean, th these are easily two of the figures that I'm most looking forward to. I mean, Ronda Rousey could be the first woman signed to MDT Wrestling. With the, with this amount of articulation, we could see her come out of nowhere. I mean, I'm just saying, that's something to look out for. They release more of these, I mean, who, who knows? But anyways, these figures are definitely on my list. I had to put them out here first. Ultimate Edition from Mattel is going to be exciting. I can't wait to see what other figures they put in this line. This is definitely going to be something that we pay attention to going into 2019. The next two figures that I'm looking forward to, guys, is two of my favorite wrestlers, two cruiserweight division guys. We got Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali. Both of these guys are elites, and they look incredible. I hate that both of them, bo uh, you know, have smiling head scans. You know, that can be annoying when you're trying to do pick feds and stuff. However, these look incredible. I love the way these face scans look with that true effects. I think they're even going to knock it out of the park even more. I'm really, really excited to see which attire they give Cedric Alexander. I'm hoping it's either his royal blue, red, and black attire or the, the flip-flop version where it's more red with the accents of blue and then black. And then, of course, Mustafa Ali is going to be in his WrestleMania 34 gear where he wore the Sub-Zero mask, and I know that a ton of people are excited for that. And uh, it's just going to be some epic stuff. I'm so excited for both of these. These had to go on my 2019 list, and I'll probably grab three or four of each just to do some different customs and things of that nature because uh, multi multiple of these guys have have great attire. So, I mean, I, I am definitely looking forward to these two guys, and they will be added to the MDT pick fed. Next up, guys, we have a pair of Elites from Elite 67. So these figures should be out probably by the summertime at least, maybe April or May, hopefully. But uh, we do have Elite 67 Randy Orton and Elite 67 Jeff Hardy. Both of these look incredible. I think both of these with the true effects are going to be knocked out of the park again. Um, this head scan looks a lot better. The sculpt looks a lot better than the battle pack, the WrestleMania 35 battle pack with Jeff Hardy and Edge. This this just looks way better. Um, it's going to be an updated Jeff Hardy, it looks like, and it's going to be hopefully face paint. Or I really don't care if it's face painted or not. I would probably prefer uh, not face painted. That way, you know, we can go in and add face painted. Uh, customs if we would like to and that would give us the option you know if it's face painted already then uh, going back and doing skin tone and a beard and stuff is more difficult than just painting uh, whatever design you want of Jeff's on there and hopefully it's a good face paint maybe it's one of his lightning designs down his sleeves and everything like that we also are going to get his um interchangeable hands right before he does the swanton bomb and then of course we have randy orton and his haircut looks good i think this looks great i'm excited to see which accessories these guys come with whether it be uh championships or you know entrance hoodies and stuff like that you know they've been on a tear where they've been giving us a lot of cloth accessories so we could end up getting you know randy's cloth vest or something um like we're gonna see with the nxt hideo atami you know it's definitely possible i'm not gonna you know cross that out off the list just yet but he, he comes with his you know signature posing hands which are going to make my Randy Orton shelf look a lot better I'm very excited for that and hopefully they choose a good attire and not just you know black and just white I hope they give us you know one of those cool colors maybe yellow would be nice or even a blue or something nice but these two are definitely on my list two of my favorite wrestlers of all time and I cannot wait to see in 2019 what attires these end up being and they have to be on my list the next four figures on my list, guys, is this new NXT Target exclusive set. As you can see, we have Cian Almas, 
Alistair Black, Drew McIntyre, and Roderick Strong. I believe all four of these are in the same set, and what an amazing set. I mean, my God, this has to be set of the year, and you have to include the Hideo Itami. Um, I didn't want to put it on here just because I think I want these four more over Hideo. Honestly, you could probably switch Drew McIntyre and Hideo back and forth just because I'm kind of disappointed in Drew, but I'm still looking forward to seeing what it feels like in the hand, how it looks up to Nick's other figures and stuff like that. But uh, Hideo Itami also comes with that robe, as we mentioned, that entrance vest that is cloth. So they're making a ton of strides over at Mattel. They're doing a lot of great things. We could start off with Cian Almas. It's going to be his first elite. You know, we've not seen an elite of him just yet. He is on the main roster now, but he is totally updated. You get that figure, it will be exactly how he is in real life. Um, and it's a beautiful attire. I love the white attire. It's so beautiful. I think it's NXT TakeOver Philadelphia, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think that Aleister Black has already claimed the 2019 figure of the year year. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure everybody would agree with me that uh, that figure has already taken the cake. He got an epic head scan. Um, really good accessory with his entrance vest. Um, I'm pretty sure these guys will have interchangeable hands, right? If they don't, I mean, not a big deal, but I think they will. Uh, it's just really epic. Those tattoos and the head scan is the main thing. I mean, it's just great. They, they killed that Aleister Black with uh, Drew McIntyre, what I was talking about is I think it's the parts choices and maybe the head scan isn't as good as I would like. Uh, you know, his hair's a bit short because it's from his NXT days. The attire's still accurate. I mean, Drew McIntyre still wears that attire to this day. It's kind of crazy. Um, if he switched it up, it's barely any. It's like maybe one or two of the colors on his trunks are flip-flopped. But the, the, the torso choice isn't my favorite for this. I know how jacked he is, but I don't know. It just kind of throws the figure off. Um, the arms are pretty freaking messed up. I mean, I know how big Drew McIntyre is. I don't know. It's just something's off about the figure. It may just be the head scan. But then we have Roderick Strong, who uh, will probably need some updated, you know, parts choices if you wanted to make an updated Roddy Strong, just because this is before he joined the Undisputed Era. And I know a ton of people are going to be making customs, you know, to put with their Epic Moments Undisputed Era figures, which I will be doing the same thing and I'll probably be updating his torso and doing a few figure part swaps just because you know he he is pretty jacked now and he looks great he's one of my favorites in all of wrestling so I'm very excited for Roderick Strong one of my uh, most looking forward to figures I had to put him on here but this entire set um, I would spend probably $200 on this whole set no lie if I found you know all of them together I would probably drop 200 on it easy peasy because you know they're going to be inflated in price on eBay once they finally release. So that is definitely something to look out for. But these are definitely on my list. I think they're supposed to come out in January of 2019, guys. So they should be hitting retail very, very soon. And I can't wait for it. They had to be on my list of upcoming figures I'm hyped for. Up next, guys, we do have a pair of elites, a tag team. We have the Bludgeon Brothers Elites, updated elites of Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. And I feel like uh, Eric Rowan has been injured for forever now. I feel like we haven't seen the Bludgeon Brothers in a long, long time, which we haven't. So, I mean, I feel like these figures are going to be really, really delayed when they do drop because they're not in the next elite set. I don't even think they're in the next elite. Are they in Elite 66? I can't even remember. But by the time we get these figures, hopefully they'll be back on TV and be healed up. And I honestly would return them with Bray Wyatt. I think that would be the coolest thing to do, you know, put them back together, have them have a strong run as heels or something like that, and I think that would be really cool to see. But uh, the Bludgeon Brothers figures look great. They're highly detailed. You know, they're going to have the interchangeable hands. They're going to have, you know, really cool accessories. I love the, the hooded stuff and the updated sheep mask and everything is going to be epic. I cannot wait for these guys. Um... Really high for their return. You know, I, I thought they had a ton of momentum before they went down with, you know, injury and stuff like that. But hopefully, you know, they really didn't do anything with the tag titles. But I think that, you know, they were on their way. But maybe we'll get some really cool figures to pair with these guys when they return. So hopefully we get these very soon. And 2019 is going to be a good year for the Bludgeon Brothers. So they had to be on this list. And I am awaiting for them to return. Next up, guys, we have three more figures for you. We have the Elite Asuka, which was going to be a WrestleMania 35 Axis exclusive. I do believe that's what Mattel said. But then it got discontinued. They canceled it. And now uh, Bill did confirm on Instagram that this will be in a future lineup in 2019. So I'm very excited for this Asuka. I think she will still come with all the accessories that she was originally, you know, uh, planned to have. So that is going to be exciting. I know that Brad's going to be excited to pick up this Asuka. And I am too. I think it looks really good. I think the head scan improves every single time we get an Elite Asuka. And then we do have the entrance greats Elias on the right side. And he comes with a more detailed guitar. You get really cool accessories. And he is in the white pants. And, of course, he is going to come with a music stand. And he will be the last 
figure in the entrance greats line. So no longer are we going to be getting entrance greats lines and stuff like that. Um, and that actually makes me think of like what is next. I know we got Ultimate Edition, but do you guys remember at San Diego Comic Con they did that thing with Matt Hardy and we were supposed to get you know the drone and we were supposed to get you know the mower of lawns and we were supposed to get the freaking canoe boat and everything. Is that supposed to be an epic moment set or what? I, I can't even remember what that was, but. Um, I'm excited to see you know what comes of that line as well. I don't think I have it in today's video, but I just wanted to mention that. But Entrance Grace Elias looks incredible. I like the white pants better than the black. I think it makes it look a lot better. And then, of course, we do have Asuka, which is going to be a beast. So these figures had to go on my list as well. And the last three figures that we have for you guys is three different elites. We have Elite 67 Velveteen Dream. We have an updated... Uh, first time in the line, Elite Bobby Lashley, which is kind of weird, you know, it, I mean, I, I, I'm hyped for it because it looks so detailed and it looks just like Bobby Lashley, but at the same time, his character is so terrible and stuff like that, that, uh, I don't know, Bobby Trashley, I, I don't know. I'm just looking forward to the figure just because of the detail, and I'm excited to see how the face turns out, and the body looks really good. I can't wait to see how it fully comes out. And then Eric Young, Elite 65, is the last figure, and I'm honestly hyped for the entire Sanity line. You know, since they're not booked really well in uh, WWE, they don't, you know, put them on TV. They've literally called them up to the main roster for no apparent reason. I'm still hyped for all their figures. Eric Young, Alexander Wolf, Killian Dane, Nikki Cross, I'm really excited for all those guys. Maybe they can debut an MDT, maybe uh, team up with the Colt of the Wyatts or something like that. But uh, that pretty much does it for all the figures, I think. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting some, but I think that I narrowed down, you know, the ones that I'm most looking forward to most is the biggest thing because, uh, you know, Mattel's going to pump out some really epic things. You know, at the beginning of last year, um, we had no idea about the epicness that was going to come around, and uh, they, they did a fantastic job in 2018. It was definitely the best year that Mattel's had, I think, since they uh, started creating WWE figures with the true effects and the interchangeable hands and the really good cloth accessories and the attires and everything that they've done. I mean, they've done some really really important things and some really big things in our community and for our hobby. So, I mean, they, they have been killing it, and uh, hopefully we get that entrance stage. Um, maybe we get an announcement of uh, a new ring or maybe an elimination chamber full scale, something like that. So, very big things coming for Mattel in 2019, guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Let me know down in the comment section below which figures you're looking forward to in 2019. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.